Hi guys, welcome back. It's Friday, so it's time for another Friday Reads video. I'm coming to you from the floor of my room, <laughs> just kneeling in front of my bed. I didn't feel like setting up a whole camera thing and everything, so I'm just filming this on my iPad. Just a real quick video. I'm currently reading a middle grade book entitled Theodosia and the Last Pharaoh by R. Ola Fevers. This is book four in the series, and it takes place in Egypt where she travels with her mother. Um, her parents both kind of work in a museum, so she's been surrounded by Egyptian artifacts for almost an entire life, and she's able to sense evil from these artifacts and sometimes remove them. And she's sort of on a secret mission that her mother knows nothing about to uh, bring an artifact back to Egypt. In fact, her mother knows nothing of what she can do. Uh, but there's this bad group called the uh, Serpents of Chaos that are causing all sorts of trouble and want the artifacts that she comes across and want her abilities. Uh, so they are always on the hunt for her, and she has to kind of stay one step ahead. Just really, really enjoyable series. I'm currently on page 88, so I'm about that far into it so far. Really enjoying it. I'm not sure if this is going to be the last book in the series yet or not, but I certainly hope it's not. I'm also reading a manga, uh, Monster, Volume 2, by Naoki Urasawa. I first became aware of this series through the BookTube Manga Club, and I'm really glad I did. I really enjoy it. It follows a doctor by the name of Dr. Tenma, and he saves the life of a young boy who was kind of shot in the head. And uh, unfortunately, this young boy happens to be already a serial killer. And as he grows up, his killing spree kind of continues. And Dr. Tenma finds out what has happened. And he's sort of now on the hunt to try and stop this boy. The thing is, the police, from the very beginning, have suspected him of these killings. So he's trying to clear his name and stop the boy at the same time. So really, really intense series. I'm enjoying it very much. I'll um, just give you a little idea of the artwork in it. Flip through the pages. It's just really a little creepy house. <laughs> really like the art style and everything too. And I'm currently, I've read this much so far because of course it reads uh, right to left and it's a page 118 so far. Um, probably be finishing this one up at the weekend. It's a really quick read for manga. So that's what we're reading this weekend. Let me know down below what you guys are going to be reading and I hope you have a great weekend. Bye bye.